Please welcome Menachem Ali Melech. Good evening. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you my passion for water. Many of us, at least in New York City where we gather tonight, take water for granted, almost like the air we breathe. When you drank your glass of water today, how many of you thought about the millions of people who lack access to clean water? How many of you thought about cities that are on the verge of running out of water? We live in an era where due to climate change, water is becoming dangerously scarce, and we must do something about it. Water scarcity puts major cities at risk all over the world. In fact, many cities could even run out of water. You may remember day zero in Cape Town, South Africa in 2018. That year, the water reservoirs for the city dropped dangerously close to their absolute minimum capacity. If this were to happen, water, water would be supplied only to critical services such as hospitals, while municipal tap water would be completely shut off. This would have been the first major city in modern era to run out of water. So considering these challenges, the big question is, how can we ensure the adequate supplies of water to cities worldwide? Well, at my lab at Yale, we have solutions. Many major cities are near oceans with huge amounts of seawater that can be transformed to fresh water. But what about inland cities far away from the ocean, like Phoenix or Las Vegas? Well, we have a solution here too. Municipal wastewater can be purified and recycled to provide plenty of fresh water for the city. Our lab at Yale is working on energy efficient membrane technologies that can transform seawater or municipal wastewater to high quality drinking water. Membranes are ultra thin films, even thinner than a piece of paper. So these synthetic films allow water to go through easily but filter out most of the salt and contaminants in the water. We can use these membranes to desalinate seawater and provide fresh water at a relatively low cost. For example, Israel, my home country, built five desalination plants along the Mediterranean Sea. These plants provide 75% of the domestic water supply in Israel at a cost of only 55 cents per 1,000 liters of drinking water. Municipal wastewater, which is another word for treated sewage, can also be transformed to high quality drinking water using membrane technology. All we need <laughs> is to overcome the yak factor. So perhaps the biggest challenge is not membrane technology, but rather public perception. Now let's talk more specifically about the membrane research that is carried out in my lab at Yale. We work on next generation membranes for desalination and water purification. For this work, we take inspiration from nature. We develop synthetic membranes that mimic aquaporins. Aquaporins are sophisticated water channels in the membrane of biological cells like in our body. These smart protein channels allow water to pass at a fast rate, but completely block all salts and chemicals. If you can create a synthetic membrane as efficient as the aquaporin, we would significantly reduce the energy and cost of desalination. To create such a membrane, we use novel materials and design their structure and chemistry based on the principles of the aquaporin. Desalination also occurs in nature. Mangrove trees grow in salty water in tropical regions. The roots of the mangrove trees filter out the salt and the fresh water is pumped up the tree by negative pressure created by evaporation of water from the leaves. We have recently demonstrated this concept in the lab with a device that mimics the mangrove desalination mechanism. Our mangrove work provides a foundation for development of energy efficient desalination systems. At Yale, our lab is fortunate to benefit from a research community rich with knowledge and collaboration we ask the hard questions to prepare our students for leadership so they can continue to advance humanity in a world of ever-changing resources. Together, 
we can push the boundaries of what's possible in water treatment technology. With your help, we can work towards a day where we don't have to wonder where our next glass of water will come from. Thank you.